going on? Charlie here. I'm Jean. Welcome to Multicasters. Today we have with us the McCallan 6, the end of the road, the last of its lineage in the edition series. Wow, the last one, huh? The last one. They are not making any more. They did one through six. This is number six. Uh, took forever to find it. Just found it here in town. It is, so it that is, means it, it ends in a six. It right? does end in six. Very good, because I would have forgotten to mention that. And what do you mean it ends in six? Oh, the, the alcohol there. 40. 40. I can't. It's hard to read. Allow me. Thank you. Shivers. 48.6 uh, ABV um, is what they do. And what they do with this edition series is number one was 48.1. Uh, we have four here, which is 48.4. Five here, 48.5. And then number six. Uh, this just came to market. It is based upon they they do different things for like the number five they wanted to do it based upon the color purple they even paid to have their own color invented this is based upon the river spry which is next to the distillery hmm. what do you get on the nose i get peat bit of peat yeah a little bit of peat some raspberries ginger it has ginger uh, yeah it has um there's certain notes you get with scotch floral notes mm -hmm. There's certain notes you get from McCallum. This to me tastes a little bit muted than smells. what I was, yeah, smells, I want to say taste. This smells a little bit muted than what I was expecting. I get um, some oak. Okay. Some dust there. there. It does have a lovely raspberry caramel oakness to it. Mm -hmm. There's a touch of peat, not it's like a one out of yeah, 10. Yeah, I don't, it's like gone now. I don't smell yeah. peat anymore. Uh, cherry, like a dark cherry uh, chocolate. Yeah. There is a touch of chocolate there. There is a creamy velvetiness to it. A touch of vanilla. Remember those, those uh, dark chocolate, the cherry cordials. Yeah, yeah. cherry cordials. It has like the, um, the inside, the creamy yep. cherry filling. Yep. Cherry cordial. Put your nose in there and then smell that. It's very cordial of you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I get that, yeah. They kind of goes with the creamy vanilla that I was just, just talking about. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. Mm. It's got a pleasant nose. It does. Um, some vanillas there. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice color to it. Um, it is dark. Shoot, what year? How, how old is this? I want to say it's a 12 year. I don't remember. It's hard to read that with that it is. color of label with the print. This is a gorgeous color. I mean, they're all good, but the, the, the on the green and on the purple, you can read it much more. This is silver on a gorgeous color of blue. I'll put down below if it's not 12 year what it actually is, but I think it's a 12 year. Hmm. Going in. Have a go in. Just have a good nose. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's velvety. Smooth. I got some caramel. A lot of ginger. Cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. Not pepper, but cinnamon, like like a like a cinnamon candy. Mm -hmm. Oak. It's it's sweeter than what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It is opening. sweet. It is sweet. It, there's a there's a candied sugar to it. Uh, that just sherry even. There's a touch, touch of sherry. sherry. Yeah, there's a touch of sherry. If memory, I forget what they broke it down. I think this is hogshead. What is that? Butts, mean? the type of type of barrel. I think that, that there's a breakdown on the on the box of what all different casts they use, what percentage of casts. I'll put a picture up of that. Hmm. Um, it, it, on the on the forefront, on the opening, it's a candied sugar cinnamon. Which I would expect to get out of a bourbon. Lots of vanillas. Yeah, it's it's really coating the mouth really nicely. A touch of lemon bread that I'm getting now. I get dry lemon bread. So there are some fruit notes to it. Well, you would expect it with the scotch, or especially with the McCallan, you're going to expect those, those fruit nuts. But there's a touch of sherry there as well. Hmm. I, I know what I'm hmm, mean about. What are you hmm, mean about? It's like a softer. Um, See, I'm getting a powdered sugar now. Are you? Yeah, like you got powdered sugar sitting in front of you. 
you get ready to bake something, you get that smell of that sweet, soft sugar. I got a soft oak. Huh. It's still sweet. Brings out the peppers. Oh yeah. Brings out the cinnamon, brings out peppers now. Before I just got straight cinnamon, now I'm getting pepper. Mmm, yeah. Butter. I, ha I hear myself describing a lot of notes I would do with bourbons or whiskeys. The scotch flavor is there yeah. from all the floral notes and that, that kind of unique, not, not really lemon pledge, but kind of lemon pledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I still think I like the four better. I may like this better than the five. Because we just reviewed the five. If you haven't watched the five, I'll leave a link here and you can go watch the five. But it, there's, there's one through six. We have four, five, and six. Mm. Did you add water? You did, didn't I you? did. I put a, a drop of water in there. I don't think I want to put any more water in there. No. I'm right there with you. Um, Normally I do. Normally we do. Right. Just to, to play with it. Just to give you guys some descriptors. Um, just to see. Whiskey's kind of an intimate thing. It's You like it what you like it as. And one thing that's great with water is you can ebb and flow those whiskey notes. It's just. It's like a creamy, buttery, cinnamon smooth all around. Here, here's my problem with it though. It smells one way and it tastes underwhelming according to what's on the nose. Do you agree? Um, I don't think so. I think it's, okay. I, I'm tasting exactly what I, I thought I was going to taste. Okay. I'm not, I guess, displeased. Well, we tried this last night to get the neck pour out. Right. And it does taste better now with the neck pour out of it. It's oxidized for about 24 hours. And now if we come back in a week or two, this may this may crank up the notes, um, which is what a nice scotch bourbon whiskey will do, rye. The peat's back in my, okay. for the nose. Mm -hmm. You wanna have a score? Let's have a score. Uh, I can tell you, we'll get to the price here in a minute. I can tell you the number one in this series right now on Caskers is going for $2,776. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Ask Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Santa, right? Uh, 89, what'd you do? I did a 90. Okay. Okay. Um, it's it's better than, I, I, I was, in my head I was thinking last night when we tasted this, that it was an 89. But it, it must have been because of the neck pour because I am getting a much nicer taste now that it's opened up. Um, I get more of the creaminess now. Um, yeah, it's 90. Is it worth it? Uh, 155. 155 is what I paid for, but here's the caveat. Tariffs right now are through the roof as far as Scotland getting their whiskey to us. Um, I think if, if the tariffs were not currently in place as high as they are, I'm thinking this would go for about 110, but yes. On the internet, if you need it shipped to you, you can find this from 150 to 255 is what I've seen it as. I picked it up in town at a store for 155. I wouldn't pay 155 no. for this. No, I'd say at 110, if I paid 110 for this, and I know it's part of the addition, like this four here is going for 350 right now. We paid 90 for it. The five's going for almost 200. Well, I mean, as part of a collector's addition, then yeah. you're gonna pay more for that part of a collector Boom. item. So you yes. should expect for it to be a little bit more pricey than it should be, I guess. And my point is, if you already have the one through five, you're gonna buy this anyway. Of course you are. Uh, if I had you the one, to. yeah. If I had the <laughs> one through five, I would, I would buy this, especially since it's the last one. Um, I would probably buy it and not open it. If I would have seen reviews for this before we bought it, if the reviews or anything like what we're saying, I probably would have bought it, and not opened it, and then seen if it raised in price. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. For me, if I would have paid, um, I'd be okay with 90 on this, but not 155. Mm -mm. No. But we already had the series going, so that's why I spent that much. Boom, anything to add, Jean? I have nothing else to add. I'm Charlie. And I am Jean, and I hope you're just as thirsty as we are. Boom.